Welcome to lectures and interviews about leadership for sustainability. I'm Bruce Hall. Are you a leader or a follower? Careful, that's a trick question. The type of leadership discussed in this section is the type of leadership required for the wicked sustainability challenges we face today. And it's a type of leadership where we all practice leadership from wherever we are, not just the people in corner offices and elected positions and control over budgets. No, this is a type of leadership that we can all engage in from wherever we are in the system. And if you think about it, it's very empowering because it means everybody can practice leadership. Why is this important? It's important for two key reasons. One, just about any interview with employers suggests that people with leadership skills can are the ones that enjoy career success, right? And I want you to have career success because I want you to solve sustainability challenges, so you need leadership skills. Second, the, the, the challenges of the day, the sustainability challenges of today are more than technical, right? They're, they're bigger than any organization, any technology, any profession, probably any nation. They require collaboration and coordination across time and space. They require getting a lot of people together who with a lot of very different opinions, and that requires leadership, right? So you are no doubt familiar with the great person type of leadership, the Margaret Thatcher's, the Nelson Mandela's, the Steve Jobs of the world, the Grow Harlem Brundtland's, and Elon Musk that make such a huge difference. Books are written about these people and what experiences made them who they are, what upbringing they had, their personality traits and charisma and communication styles, and the other things that they did to inspire followers to follow. These types of leaders have important roles to play, but that's not who I'm tar targeting here. This theory of leadership argues that leadership is only about three things. The leader, what the leader does to get followers to follow, and what tasks followers are asked to do. We need a different theory of leadership. I want to talk about the theory of shared leadership. You need to get your head around it because it's much more relevant to the wicked problems of the Anthropocene. So according to this theory, leadership is defined as the conditions that exist when a group gets things done. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Rather than focus on what a leader does, focus on what the group does when it gets things done. A team, an organization, a university, a nation, whatever it is that gets things done. That's what we want, after all, to get things done. So what are the characteristics of groups that gets things done? It's three things, direction, alignment, and commitment. Let's do a quick thought experiment to compare these two leadership models. Imagine a city that's trying to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. The mayor is very authoritarian and acts without consulting others. She announces what needs doing, who's going to do what, and uses her power to get those things done. If the effort fails, then she is to blame. Now imagine another scenario. The mayor just convenes people, everyone there shares responsibility for deciding what to do and who's going to do what and how to get it done. They co-construct the problem and co-construct the solution. They constantly learn from each other and fail together and, and come together with the, up with the goals and strategies. And because it's their ideas, they've got buy-in. And they're responsible for the outcome, for the success or failure. These two different models of leadership produce two very different outcomes.